Honda just revealed its master plan to defeat Toyota. Honda's just revealed its master plan to defeat not only Toyota, but other automakers also. Honda has partnered with Hanwha to secure EV battery metal supply. Will Honda's new partnership help it reach its goal of making EVs? And what are Toyota's great plans and investments for building EV batteries? There's really an EV batteries boom in the market, with all the automakers trying to put their hands in EV batteries manufacture. So, let's dive into the details. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Addicts. In today's video, we are going to show you what Honda's master plan is to defeat Toyota. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. Honda Motor Company has teamed up with Hanwha Company to make sure it has a steady supply of materials for electric vehicle batteries as the Japanese automaker gets ready to make a big push to switch to EVs. On September 6th, Honda announced that it has formed a relationship with Hanwha. As a result of this partnership, Honda would have a consistent supply of nickel, cobalt, and lithium, which are three metals that are typically used in the batteries of electric vehicles. According to the statement made by the corporation, Honda will assure reliable sourcing in the medium to long term, establishing the mined resources acquired by Hanwha as the main component. According to Honda, the agreement would also assist the company in achieving carbon neutrality by the year 2050. Will Honda's new partnership help it reach its goal of making EVs? Honda's goal is to have battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles account for 100% of the company's vehicle sales worldwide by the year 2040. To achieve this objective, Honda has stated that it intends to bring 30 electric vehicle models to the global market by the year 2030 with an annual manufacturing volume of more than 2 million units. When compared to other firms, Honda has not made significant process in the development of electric vehicles. However, over the course of the past year, the Japanese car maker has developed a number of strategic collaborations. These partnerships have suggested a refined and determined strategic push toward electrification in the future. It has been announced that Honda and Sony would collaborate on the development of electric vehicles, with the first sales anticipated to take place in 2025. In addition, Honda has a collaboration in place with General Motors, which will lead to the development of an electric vehicle portfolio that will reduce the cost of the powertrains. The Honda Prologue is an all-electric SUV that is currently being developed in-house by Honda and is scheduled for introduction in 2024. It is Honda's goal to sell 500,000 electric vehicles per year in North America by the year 2030. The company is also making adjustments to other aspects of its business, such as updating its dealerships and mandating that they provide EV chargers at every location. Due to the pandemic, electric vehicles firms have had a difficult time over the past two years attempting to build reliable and consistent material supply chains. In order to ease these potential bottlenecks, which can delay production by several months or even years, automotive manufacturers have begun to develop contractual responsibilities with mining companies and cell manufacturers. In addition, Honda has devised a strategy for the long term. It has the intention of investing around 5 trillion yen, which is equivalent to 6.5 billion euros, over the course of the next 10 years to improve its skills in the areas of electrification and software technology. It is looking to make this investment so they can restructure its portfolio in a way that will move it away from the business of selling individual pieces of hardware and toward the more lucrative software industry. Adding additional capabilities that may be integrated later or launching specific subscriptions based services, it will make it possible for Honda to generate income utilizing the software over the lifetime of the electric car. Even while Honda's not yet caught up to some of its competitors in the race towards electrification, the company's determined and concentrated efforts are likely to benefit it in the long run. In comparison to the 35.2% reduction that was seen in its industry over the past year, the stock's loss was 18%. Will Honda be able to master Toyota since Toyota's also working on its plans regarding EV batteries? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And now we'll take a look at Toyota's plans to build EV batteries. Toyota already has declared that it will spend $5.6 billion on new plants in Japan and the U.S. to make batteries for electric cars. But unlike other car companies that are going all in on electric vehicles, Toyota said it's still not sure that that's the best way to go. Even though it's been a leader in hybrid, gas, and electric vehicles for more than 20 years, Toyota, which sells more cars than any other company in the world, has been slow to build fully battery-powered electric vehicles. Volkswagen, General Motors, and Ford have a lot more pure battery-powered EVs on the market, and they also have a lot of EVs in the works. 
Toyota's put more money into developing electric cars that run on hydrogen fuel cells instead of rechargeable batteries than any other automaker. The only thing the fuel cells would put out would be water vapor, which is in line with the stricter environmental rules that are now being put in place. Toyota's statement about the new investment in a battery plant suggested that the company is still looking for ways to meet stricter emission rules without relying only on battery-powered electric vehicles. Toyota thinks that there are more than one way to get to zero carbon emissions. It also thinks that, depending on the country and region, there are many different ways to cut CO2 emissions as much and as quickly as possible while protecting the jobs of its customers. In its statement, Toyota said, with this in mind, Toyota will continue to do everything it can to meet the needs of its different customers in its countries and regions by offering multiple powertrains and as many options as possible. Unlike battery-powered EVs, which can be charged at home or at one of the growing number of public charging stations, fuel cell vehicles need a whole new infrastructure to be able to fill up with hydrogen. And there are still not many ways to fill up, especially outside the state of California. The BZ4X SUV is the only battery EV that Toyota sells in North America. It went on sale earlier this year, but Toyota recently had to tell the few people who bought the cars early not to drive them because the wheels could fall off. The company hasn't found a way to fix the problem yet, so it has to offer to buy the cars back from the people who bought them. Toyota said it plans to spend about half the money it plans to spend on making EV batteries on expanding a plant that's already being built in Liberty, North Carolina. The investment will make the plant cost $3.8 billion instead of $1.3 billion. With the extra money, the plant, which is set to start making things in 2025, will be able to hire up to 2,100 more people. Toyota said that the plant will make batteries for both pure battery-powered EVs and plug-in hybrid vehicles, which will have both electric motors and internal combustion engines. There is surely a boom in EV batteries because many automakers are willing to build their own EV batteries. In the past few months, automakers have been rushing to announce plans for EV battery plants, often with the help of other companies. Just this week, Honda and LG announced that they will put $4.4 billion into a new U.S. battery plant together. Hyundai also said in May that it's building a battery plant in Georgia. Ford said last year that it would invest $11.4 billion with LG rival SK Innovations to build three battery plants and an EV assembly plant. Early this year, Mercedes-Benz opened a plant in Alabama to make batteries. Stellantis, which was made when Fiat, Chrysler, and the French automaker PSA Group joined forces, and LG made plans for a battery plant last year. GM and LG have spent a total of $7.2 billion building plants in Ohio, Tennessee, and Michigan, and they're considering building a fourth plant in Indiana. The plants in Tennessee and Michigan are still being built, but the plant in Ohio just started making things. Hey, we sincerely hope you enjoyed our video today. If you did, please make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and family. And let us know if you have any questions or comments for us in that comment space below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also watch other videos that have been specially selected just for you. And if we can ask you one more favor, please, before you go, make sure you press that bell icon too. That way you will always be notified of our latest videos videos whenever we have them posted you will stay updated and informed along with us we thank you for spending time out of your busy day to hang out with us today and we look forward to catching up with you in our next video thanks for watching